What is up guys, this is OSG and I bought my own car in Forza, so I have a Toyota Celica uh, 7th gen and it's in the silver colour, the wheels, these aren't the exact wheels I have, I have the calibre, I have calibre wheels I think they're called and they're in like a sort of grey colour so that's basically the closest I could get and I have a black um, hood scoop so I put that on as well but anyway, me being me, I might, may or may not have decided to put a massive engine in this and better tyres so it's actually going pretty fast, but I've kept it front wheel drive for realism of what it's like to drive in real life. But I, I actually wish my car was as fast, however, I'm still skidding at 120 miles an hour, which isn't the best. This is going to be an absolute understeer machine, but I wonder if we've got front wheel drive pull in this game. Because if anyone knows about uh, front wheel drive, you'd know that. Um, I forgot it's the manual. Um, if anyone knows about front wheel drive, you know that the wheel certainly pulls to the side. And I think I could feel that a second ago. When you put a lot of power, especially on cars with too much power, uh, front wheel drive, because one axle's longer than the other, it, it, uh, the steering goes all funny. Woo. Woo. This is scary. Okay, I've got absolutely no grip. How am I losing traction at the rear? In a front wheel drive car. I mean, I know it's possible, but really. I really should have put maybe all wheel drive on this, or rear wheel drive. But <laughs> it's quite fun. I'm actually quite a big fan of uh, front wheel drive sports cars. It gives like a weird thing because you have to be quite uh, conservative with the uh, throttle. Okay, that did not work. But. Basically, around the corner, you can't put too much gas, so you start to plough through because all your power is going to cause understeer. Once you've got up to speed, though, the it's not as it's not as bad at all. But while accelerating, you do not have much uh, grip. I put a six-gear gearbox on this car, which is the same as in real life. What I've noticed weird about this car, though, the gear shifter, right? Instead of having reverse where you push down like on most shifters, you have to like push to the side and then again to the side. There's no push down on mine for some weird reason. There must be like four um, rods or whatever those things are called in the transmission. I need to adjust the gearing, but there we go, 196 miles an hour. I wish my car could go this fast, that'd be very fun. It's funny how the stock gearing has have room for this much speed, but you know... Or actually, I think the RPM has gone up by, yeah, the RPM has gone up by a lot, but still. Okay. <laughs> oh, that noise is... The, by the way, the engine I put in this is a 2JZ, which is what I possibly eventually want to put into my car. Imagine having a 2JZ in a front-wheel drive Celica, that would be mad. It would also be quite fast, because uh, they only weigh about a thousand... Well, at least my model only weighs about a thousand kilos. Weirdly enough, the acceleration isn't actually that good. I mean, it's nice, but it's not good good. For a car that weighs that less, and for the power amount, it's quite low, to be honest. I think because maybe um, the there's a lot of power loss in the drivetrain. I think I'm going to finish this video up now. I just wanted to show you this car. I'll put... Um, Maybe a share code in the description for the paint job if you want to have basically my real life car in Forza. Other than that guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.